Hurricane Katrina affected our spirits being, you know, it, it devastated a lot of people. But however, you know, as as a community, as a school and whole, everybody has pulled together. Everybody has, you know, became a better person, become a stronger person from this because you, you learn so many things and you learn the values of friendships and learn the values of family, you know, the little things in life that mean the most to you. To start off with, we were about three weeks into school and then the storm hit and it knocked us out for about two months. And so I left and went to school in Delaware for about two months and then came back and we opened on November 7th. My mom was like, um, you're not going back to Bay High, you gotta go to another school. And I was like, what, I can't, I can't graduate with like my graduating class? And she was like, nah, cause we don't know when it's gonna be back. Well, finally I got in touch with my mom and she said, you are not going to school, don't you dare go to another school, we're waiting till Bay High and open spec up. So that's what I did, and I came back. I was excited. You know, I got to see all my friends. You better tuck those shirts in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it took a, a tremendous amount. Each of the administrators came back in uh, about a month before the students did, or actually a month and a half before the students ever was able to come back. And we began to work to try to put together the furniture because we lost all of that. He's just using this room, okay. and so like those are his notes. He has to write them on construction paper no because we have no boards or anything. He puts up yeah. new paper. That's how he does his notes every day. Uh, we lost all of our textbooks. We had to reorder textbooks. Uh, we had to reorder the curriculum for those teachers. We had to reorder everything. It was a pretty big impact. It was like going out and starting something over again, but you had that you had an idea of what to do, but you had really nothing to do anything with. No building, no, no, no records, no anything. So we just kind of put it together piece by piece. Um, they had new desks and new textbooks and the cowbell that you hear now that changes uh, signals each class change. So um, the portable units um, are here because the contractors work on one building at a time in our school and we have four major buildings. So one is always under construction. We were all set up and the students came and we were able to give them a sense of direction and they gave us a sense of direction. So it was like we didn't really know what was going to happen but we were kind of ready with a, a basic plan of a new schedule and a place for the students to go. And from that tradition kind of took over. You know they were used to going to school and we just kind of made our way from there. A lot of people were glad to come back to school. You could see everybody and have something to do every day. I mean, right after the storm for the first month or two, we didn't have anything to do. So it, it actually, uh, it brought us more towards school, like it's drawn us towards school because all we have to do is school. We wake up every day, go to school. And a lot of people stayed around here and just waited for the school doors to reopen and waited and said, I'm gonna graduate with my senior class. So that's pretty awesome that we all were able to stick together like that. And, be that strong. Everybody seems to be coming closer together because after the storm everybody realized that if, if we were going to make it around here we had to work together. Before the storm our senior class wasn't as close. We all were kind of spread out, hung out with different age groups, you know, not either younger or older. We were all pretty spread out and now after the storm it's like we're, we've gotten a lot closer together. We all depend on each other for things. We all rely on each other. We've made friends who we wouldn't have necessarily been friends with before the storm and just things have happened that have really changed our outlook. You just, there's some people that I know some of my friends that moved away that we, you know, were going out that for years had to break up because you know, now they're, he, she's moved away, he's moved away. You know, it affects a lot of relationships. You don't get to see people that you know, you've been growing up with your whole life. And, you know, you always expect them to be there, and all of a sudden, you know, just in the drop of a hat, everything's changed. 